If you're thinking about going to Dubai, I think you should go to Qatar instead. Here's everything I did on my 13 hour layover in Qatar. As soon as I got off the plane, first thing I did was freshen up, take pictures, and we went to go get transportation, and it ended up being the same driver that my mom had last year when she came. We headed to the hotel, and we got to the JW Marriott Marquis City Center. Fun fact, this hotel is connected to the mall. We went at the end of March, so it was Ramadan, and because of that, everything was open so much later than they usually are. First thing we did was go drop our stuff off in the room. We had a corner suite on the 39th floor, and the views were just amazing. There were floor-to-ceiling windows all around, and it just gave the most perfect views of Qatar. Then we decided to check out the mall because it was connected to our hotel, so why not? And it was open till 1 a.m. because of Ramadan. Now this mall is huge. Every store you could imagine is in there. Bath and Body Works, NYX, Sephora, Victoria's Secret, everything. And then there was this really cool bounce house. We couldn't do too much walking around because we had dinner reservations, so after that we went back to our room, freshened up, did our makeup and everything, and then we went to Timeless. Timeless is a restaurant with the best view of Qatar. This restaurant also has a bunch of bears. I don't know what that's about, but they're so cute and it's so amazing. The food here was literally to die for. I'm not even being dramatic. All the sushi was amazing. The noodles were amazing. The calamari was amazing. Oh my god. This restaurant also has so many photo ops. Like, look at this. And then the view. It was just so beautiful. We got back to the room. I literally didn't go to sleep. I stayed up. This is the sun rising in Qatar. And then we went to breakfast in the executive lounge before our flight. Everything was just so beautiful. I got to try some of the local foods for breakfast, and then they also had a salad bar. Breakfast opened at 6.30, we got there at 6.30, and this was so quick, we literally left at like 6.40 because we had to go to the airport to catch our flight to Thailand. Now we're all packed up, ready to go back to the airport, our driver came back to the hotel to pick us up and take us back to the airport. On our way to the airport, we stopped at the gas station, and then when we finally did get to the airport, of course, we had to do some window shopping. They had Chanel, Louis, Bulgari, Hermes. I had to show my mom what shoes I wanted because I'm graduating soon, and yeah. But that's all we did on our 13-hour layover in Qatar. When did everybody start hating airplane food? Here's everything that I ate on my 20-hour flight from Miami to Thailand flying Qatar Airways. I always start out with reading the menu. I need to know what I'm about to get myself into. The flight left at 11 p.m., so for dinner, we had the option between chicken, beef, or a vegetarian option. I chose chicken. Each meal comes with an appetizer your main course dessert and bread and drinks of course this was the appetizer a summer salad with garbanzo beans corn and apricot the chicken was cooked with herbs and the vegetables were amazing wasn't a fan of the chicken i'll rate this a five out of ten a snack is given in between meals it reminded me of a hot pot cheese broccoli and leek pastry pretty good eight out of ten for brunch aka breakfast i had the chicken curry with rice fruit greek yogurt and blueberry bread i wanted the mushroom frittata but they ran out but this is what it looked like my mom had it came with spinach same blueberry bread same fruit and greek yogurt but breakfast was like a it was okay. I've definitely had better airline food. Then after the 14 hour leg, we had a 13 hour layover in Doha, Qatar. And then the next morning, we boarded our flight to go from Qatar to Thailand. For lunch, I had this tomato pasta, the edamame salad, mimosa and cake, some more champagne, of course. And then this was like a chicken onion pizza as a snack. It was pretty good though. I did this like a 7 hour. And then we landed in Bangkok, Thailand. Wow, this trip to Qatar, I mean, she just make you look so great. I mean, she documented all the travel and then every single stop her looks really good and it looks really, you know, I want to go on a trip now, please take me with you, girl. <laughs> She's showing how she gets to the airport and then how the trip goes. By the way, the food that she's getting on the plane, it looks really good. Usually food in the air might not be as good, it could be usually just be, you know, sandwiches, paninis crisps but she actually has a proper meal and she said you got a salad i've got chicken there was also a veggie option which is really nice to have a veggie options because you know some people are vegetarian vegan or some people might just not like chicken or you know it's good to have options so the service in the plane it looked really good she seem to have loads of options and the food quality is quite nice and she seemed to be pretty comfortable because she got like this little screen in front of a seat so even though it's a long hour trip she is comfortable and she's making the most of it and she wants to get to Qatar you can see the uber that is picking it up or taxi I'm not too sure what they use there but her lift, the car, it looks so good, it looks so expensive. So you're already getting an approach like, oh, I'm feeling really fancy, you know, like this is a good quality lifestyle. And um, she just goes into this car straight to the hotel. And when she shows a hotel, oh my goodness, that looks stunning, doesn't it? I mean, 
all the lights we and the entertainment and then the fact the hotel has a bridge to the mall and then you know you're just having a nice staying and then you remember you want to go to the mall and you just have to cross the road or like even without leaving the hotel you can have access to the mall and she was showing us that there are so many brands available and you know if you are a fashion lover and if you like different brands and maybe if you have some money to spend on them there's definitely an experience I would like to to go for right um, there is loads of stores even for the kids you know they have loads of entertainment and I find that quite amazing you know like she gone out on an holiday it might not be like a long holiday but she's definitely making the most of it she's enjoying herself she's going to these beautiful places she's going shopping you know girls they really like shopping and um in qatar you've got so many brands well-known expensive brands and if you know you've, you've got everything in there and you're just enjoying your time i wonder if she had to buy like an extra luggage or something because she was visiting so many shops so <laughs> did she actually had to have like an extra luggage to take all the stuff that she bought in qatar but it's definitely something that i'm considering to go now because through a videos and an experience, Qatar looks so great. I would say my favorite part really is just to see all the lights and how expensive and complex the hotel look. It just make uh, a person feel comfortable and amused and just has that wow factor that people might be looking sometimes when you're going away on holiday. Thanks for watching Storytender. Don't forget to like and follow.